All right, we're work moving on to the volume section of the chapter, um, section 14.3. Uh, we just moved on from the surface area stuff, and now we're going to talk about volumes. So let's start by defining what volume actually is. So the definition of volume is basically it's the number of cubic units of space contained by a solid. Or another way of thinking about it is it's the amount of space that an object occupies. I think most of you um, already know what volume is, but that's just a definition for you. And so let's uh, let's take a look at a few formulas here. The volume for a right rectangular prism. You should know what a right rectangular prism looks like. Um, it's basically a rectangular box, and so the volume of that is going to be equal to length times width times height. Again, most of you knew that already. Um, the volume of a prism in general, and we talked about prism earlier in the, the chapter, um, the volume of a prism is going to be equal to the area of the base times the height of the prism. So if I'm looking at like a triangular prism like this, something like that, uh, the area of the base would be this thing, and then the, the height would be that thing right there. Um, likewise, the volume of a cylinder is also just going to be the base times the height. Or in the case of a cylinder, we know that the bases are circles, and so it's just going to be pi r squared, which is the area of this base, and then times the height. And I think that'll be a good starting point here to go ahead and try some of the problems on the back side. So let's do that. All right, we're on the back side. Uh, we're going to take a look at a few exercises in the back here. So, I'm trying to find the volume of this rectangular prism. Um, so, in this case, the volume is just going to be length times width times height. Those are the three dimensions that are given. So, it's just pretty easy. It's just going to be 20 times 5 times 15. And I believe it could be 1500. And if you're doing units, it'll be units cubed. So we don't have any units for that one. Uh, the volume of a triangular prism in this case. I need to find the volume of the base, which is right here. And then multiply it by its height. So if I look at this base here, uh, I need to draw in an altitude. I need that height. That turns this into 6. And 6 down at the bottom. And that means that the height is going to be 8 there. So know that the area of the base is going to be equal to one half of the, the base of that triangle, which is 12, times the height, which is 8, or it's going to be 48, and then multiply that times its height, which is 15, and so that'll be the answer for that one. going to come up to 720, I believe. Okay, um, let's jump all the way down to 5 here. The length of the lateral edge of a right prism. So you have a right prism, which means it stands straight up and down. The lateral edge is going to be the same thing as the height of the prism. You're given the volume and you're given the base. So you know that the base, the volume is equal to the base times the height. I can plug 13 in for the base, and I know the volume is going to be 286, and I can just solve for the height for that one. I think the height 
ends up being equal to 22. Find the volume of a cube uh, where the face diagonal is 10. And so the face diagonal is 10 in this case, which means that each of these guys, it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, is going to be 5 root 2. If you don't believe me, set 10 equal to x root 2 and solve for x. And I know it's uh, a cube is just an example of a rectangular prism um, where all the sides are the same, so the volume is just going to be one times to the tenth height, or all three dimensions are going to be 5 root 2. So that's going to be 5 root 2 cubed. And I think that comes out to 250 root 2. Like that. Uh, let's take a look at number 8 here. Uh, we'll do that one last. Here we have a cylindrical glass full of water. Dimensions are as follows. The radius of the base is 6. Here's a glass of water. That's terrible. <laughs> Sorry. And the radius is going to be 6. Height's going to be 8. I want to pour the water into a rectangular pan with a length 8, 5 width, and 4. And I want to see if the water that's in here, if it pours out, into a rectangular pan. This. Um, if that'll fit. So I need to find the volume of both of these. Uh, this one's going to be, uh, well, it's going to be base times the height. The base is going to be 36 pi, or pi r squared, times the height, which is 8. I believe it is 288 pi. That's the volume of what's in the cylindrical glass. And then the rectangular pan, the volume is just going to be length times the width times the height. 8 times 5 times 4, which is uh, 20 times 8, so it's 160. And hopefully you can see right away that this is this is 3.14, there's no way that this is going to fit in this pen. It has a volume of only 160. Okay, we'll stop here and let you give it a try. All right, good luck.